love ice cream as much as I do? Well, today I'm gonna make some ice cream for you. We're gonna be making golden milk ice cream. Now that includes some turmeric, right? Turmeric is a, a wonderful spice that we should all try to incorporate more in our diet because it fights uh, inflammation. We'll be using coconut milk as our base and we'll be adding some maple syrup as our sweetener. So it's reasonably healthy and very delicious and creamy and savory and I think you're gonna like it. So I'm Rockin' Robin, and I'm gonna show you how to make it right after this. Let's go over our ingredients, and I'll show you what's in this. First up we have is coconut milk. Now, you wanna use full fat. Don't use the reduced fat, because we want the most fat so that our ice cream will be really creamy. That's the whole point of it in my book. All right, so I like to get my uh, coconut milk at Trader Joe's because if you read the ingredients, and you should, uh, you'll see that it just contains coconut. Next up, we need some cashews. Now I've got these cashews from Trader Joe's, and they're raw cashews, and I've soaked these. They're soaking in water right now. You wanna soak them at least three or four hours. Mine have been soaking overnight, and we'll be draining the water out of that before we use it. Next up is our uh, maple syrup. Now you want to use real maple syrup. Don't try and use the artificial stuff because it's just, it's not as good for you and it, it's just not as good. All right, next up is our spices. Now we got quite a few here. We're using turmeric, cinnamon, cardamom, ginger, black pepper, and a pinch of salt right there in the middle. I don't know if you can see that. And we'll need some vanilla extract. Now to make this recipe, you're gonna need a couple pieces of equipment. The first up is a blender. Now, obviously I have a Vitamix and I you know, think it's the best, but any blender will work. And you'll also need an ice cream maker. Now I've got a Cuisinart here um, and you know, they work great. If you, have, if you don't have one and you might need one, I'll leave a link down below in the description and you can pick one up through that link if you'd like. So to start off our recipe, we're gonna place the coconut milk into a saucepan. And you can see the chunks there, that's all gonna dissolve as it heats up. We're gonna just heat this up in a saucepan first so we can dissolve all of the spices in there. Here's all of our spices, the turmeric, cinnamon, you know, cardamom, pepper, everything. Now the reason we are adding pepper, you might be wondering, is that the turmeric contains a polyphenol called curcumin. Hopefully I said that right. And um, the pepper helps the curcumin absorb into your body um, just by a tremendous amount. And so it's just a good thing to put in there. You don't really notice it, so it's not a problem. And then here's the syrup. I'm gonna add that. Now we're not gonna add the vanilla until after we take it off the heat, but we're just gonna heat this up until the spices dissolve. So I'm gonna heat this over medium heat, and I don't wanna bring it to a boil. I just wanna dissolve everything so everything's nicely combined. So just a simmer is all we need. So our mixture is starting to get warm, and I recommend that you taste this at this point because you can adjust the amount of turmeric or the cinnamon or even the sweetness to see you know, how you like it. So I'm gonna taste this in a minute, but I'm pretty sure I'm gonna be happy with it. That's perfect for me, I can taste the turmeric. It's that nice warmth in there, the cinnamon. I love the cinnamon. I'm good with it, but you can adjust it. Just know that you can do that. All right, everything looks nicely dissolved to me. And once you turn the heat off, you can add some vanilla. Stir it in, and then what I have over here is an ice bath. I like to cool this down quick, because I get impatient, I wanna eat my ice cream. All right, so we're just gonna keep this in here till it starts to cool down. And then once it's cool enough, we're gonna put this in the blender with our cashews. So while I'm waiting for that to cool a little bit, I'm just gonna drain out my cashews. Now everything goes in the blender. So we'll take our cashews that we drained and I'll pour them in. Now you might be wondering now why, what's the purpose of the cashews? There's one out there. Uh, that's gonna help make this a little bit more creamy. It'll just improve the texture. They don't have a lot of flavor to them in this recipe because we've soaked them. They just, they just give it a nice consistency because I'm always looking, like I said, for that creamy texture in my ice cream. So in goes our mixture. Now you might make sure you scrape it all out with a spatula to get all the spices. You don't want to leave anything behind. Be careful with the turmeric because if you get it on your counter, you get it on your clothes, it's going to stain. So be careful. All right. 
Now we're just gonna blend this up so it's super you know, broken down. Those, we, we don't wanna know the cashews are in there. Then pour your ice cream mixture into a bowl that you can put in the refrigerator or a jar. I like to use mason jars, and so we'll just fill that up and place it in there. It's, you're gonna wanna keep it in the fridge for at least four hours. You want this to get super cold and even overnight. Now our ice cream mixture is gonna stay in the fridge at least three to four hours, right? We want it to be nice and cool before we put it in our ice cream maker. I, let, I made some yesterday so that I would have it ready to go right now so we could just continue on with our recipe. So that's what I'm gonna pull out right now. And also the ice cream maker has an insert that has to go in your freezer for 24 hours to be nice and frozen. So I've got that going too. So now we're gonna put everything in the ice cream maker and whip it up. Here's our ice cream insert. I'm gonna place it in here and it is frozen for sure. Then we just pour in our mixture here. You can see how nice and thick that is. This is perfect. And you put in your little churn part, put the lid on and turn it on. This is gonna take somewhere between 20 and 30 minutes. When it starts getting nice and thick, we know it's done. So we'll show you what that looks like later. All right, so the ice cream is done in about 20 minutes. Hopefully I can get it out of here. Nice and thick. Now this is kind of like soft serve at this point, but what I want to do is just scoop some up and take a taste. So it's really soft, but that's how I like it. And these hot lights that I'm making this video under uh, help melt it pretty quickly. So I'm gonna give this a taste real quick. It's, it looks fabulous. So creamy, soft. I mean, it's just smooth, it's, it's rich. It's just what you'd want in a nice, good quality ice cream. Delicious, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, because I think you should try this. Nice flavor. The cinnamon, I might even go with a little more cinnamon, but play with it, see what you think. Let me know what you think down in the comments and you know, share this with anybody you think might enjoy it. So thanks so much for watching. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel by clicking the link at the end of the video or the one down below. And of course that bell that's next to it, click that and you'll be notified every week when new videos come out. Thanks again for watching everybody. We'll see you next time.